Hey guys, welcome to the video. Quick video today showing you exactly how I make these custom liveries on Kino and CarX using all free tools. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how to do it for free. All right guys, welcome, welcome. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, get a livery like this. Basically, we're gonna take any image from Google we're gonna bring it into CarX. Uh, we're gonna start off with a fresh car for you so I can explain everything as clearly as possible. It's pretty simple, um, even for beginners. So we've got this R32 here, uh, just got the new carbon print on it, got zero layers. Uh, what we wanna do is we wanna add a sticker on there. So basically we need to make a base uh, for our program to know exactly where the stickers and livery is gonna go. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll shift a square. I usually use just a plain white square uh, we want to click symmetry, get that on both sides. It sometimes leaves a little gap on the front or the back. So we'll add another one onto the front there and uh, make sure all over the car that we've got no gaps or no, no parts where that sticker doesn't cover. Uh, so we've got a big, plain, bright white car, as you can see, um, and uh, making sure that obviously there's no gaps, like I said, anywhere that, that sticker doesn't cover because uh, that will make it a little bit difficult later on. F4 for Kino, open up the Kino menu. We want to click on Tools. We can see up the top in Tools, we've got Dump, Full, Model and Livery. We want to click on that. It's going to give us a, a file that it's going to save into a certain place, which I'll show you in just a sec. I'm going to rename this one just for the sake of the video so I know exactly which one. And uh, what we'll do is we'll switch back into our file explorer. We've got two folders open here. So um, if you need to pause the video and just take note of exactly where we are, the file explorer. Um, so this folder here is where our livery dumper has saved the file. And this one at the top in ZML mods, K and base visuals, livery template builder is where we're gonna take the modified livery once we've completed it. Um, for me, free program, GIMP, easy to use. I'll leave a download link below as well if you need to know where to find that. Um, so as you can see here, we've done the livery, we've opened it up with GIMP. Uh, we're gonna use this program to modify the livery and customize it. I've just gone onto Google and found a very average, plain looking, bizarre wood texture. Uh, very basic, just for showing you guys how to do it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Hopefully you can follow along. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, always happy to help. Um, so we're gonna drag this file in, this image in, uh, JPEGs. It does a heap of other uh, images as well, but try and stick with a JPEG or a PNG uh, for best results. And obviously the better quality the picture is, the better it's gonna turn out as well. Uh, if you stretch it out, it's gonna blur out and look a bit, a bit crappy. So Shift R rotates and Shift S changes the size of the image. So we're just gonna zoom out a little bit, something I like to do, because it cuts off the top and bottom of the image. There we go. All right, so we've, uh, we can see the whole image of the car. Every single panel of the car is broken down into a layer here, as you can see. And basically all we're gonna do is grab our image that we've got. We're gonna make sure we cover all these edges. I'm gonna try and stretch this one across the bonnet, the roof, and the boot, as you can see down the middle of the picture. Stretch it out to the sides there. And uh, obviously it's covering everything, so you can't see anything. So what we do is uh, we're gonna make sure that's positioned nice and centrally. I'm gonna go over, click on this little button over here, which is normal, and we're gonna find multiply. So multiply will just apply that image in the spaces that we've got those white panels. Makes it a lot easier. And we'll go through and uh, we'll erase everything on the panels that we don't want. So we haven't got any overlapping areas. Just using that eraser nice and carefully. So when you're using that eraser, which is up in the top left there, you just wanna make sure that you're only erasing the bits you don't wanna keep because it will do everything in that layer. So that's pretty much everything. So we've finished the whole livery here. You can see every panel's covered up. We've got all our layers on the right-hand side here. So what we want to do is go up to file, 
we want to click export as and that's going to export this file exactly in the same spot same type same everything uh, but adding our modifications to it i'm going to change the name here woody woody the r32 we're going to click export and then it's like i said it's going to save it in the exact same file that we need so don't change anything else it's going to save it as that png and it's going to save it in that same file and folder that we showed you before so Click here and then click export. Takes a couple of seconds to save all of our modifications. And then what we want to do is we want to go back into the file explorer and get rid of this. All right, so you can see here it's saved in the exact same spot. That's our original there and this is a new one. So I want to cut this and I want to paste it into this livery template builder folder. That's going to put it in the right spot that the game's going to be able to find our new modified livery. So again, screenshot that if you need to. Common, Kyrex, ZML, Mods, K and Base, Visuals, Livery, Template, Builder. That's where we want to put our finished livery. So back in the game here, you can see our plain white car that we had before. We want to do the same thing. We want to go into Kino. We want to go into Visuals this time. And we want to click on Livery Templates. And then we want to click on template constructor and then up here on body texture none we want to click on this button and we're going to find that file that we just dragged into that folder which is ignore all the other ones that we've got here but it will be here if you don't have many uh, so we've got woody r32 skyline we want to click on that one there and then what we want to do is once we've selected that don't click anything else we just want to click bake and it's going to tell us to save that file as a name. It's going to click Woody. Okay, so we've now baked that livery. So we're going to go from a white car, we're going to click back. And then we want to go load template and that livery that we just saved should be right there. R32 Woody. It's easy as that. So this is all one layer. This, uh, everyone can see this as well, consoles, switch even uh, we've had people in this on a switch in our lobby that we can see our liveries so everybody can see this unfortunately at the moment i haven't figured out a way to save that and upload it into uh, the, the livery workshop for other people to use but you can see the quality obviously like i said before the better quality the picture is the better it's going to come out so you can see on the front and rear bumpers it's sort of pretty stretched out because i did stretch the image out a fair bit but everywhere else it's uh real glossy and, and nice and good quality so sort of it's all, all the way up to your imagination as to what you can do with this any any google images uh obviously don't abuse it because it'll probably get taken out or they'll change it if people take advantage of this so there is the bonnet as well all right so if you do want to put an image a separate image on a panel or on a bonnet for instance uh we'll open up that file again in gimp i'm going to erase this section on the bonnet real carefully making sure not to go over the edges Again, if you want to do this from the start, it'll be a lot easier rather than going back like I am. But uh, we'll grab an image, say this little crazy face. We'll sit that up, making sure we're covering that whole panel. I'm going to go down to multiply, just so it's covering the panel that we want. We'll stretch that out, making sure it's right up to the edge so you've got no white bits. Put it back on move, and uh, then we'll move that around into the position that we want. I don't know, do we want it up, down? We'll sit it in the middle. We'll sit it right in the middle. Then we could angle it if we wanted to. We'll leave it straight. All right, so then all we do is we get the eraser out. Just move this over a little bit. Cool. We we'll get the eraser out. We just want to erase those overlapping areas real carefully and because we're on a separate layer it's not going to erase those previous layers unless we click on them on the right hand side there cool that's all that and then basically go through those same steps uh we're just going to go to file i'm going to go to export as i'm going to change this one and add face and export export and that's going to do its thing and that's going to dump that file straight in that right folder again so we'll wait for that. All right, close this. All right, so there it is. Same thing, dumped in the right folder, cut, paste, 
Go back into the game. The file up on the right hand side there. All right, so this is our original one that we just made. We're gonna go into Kino again. So F4, go to Visuals, Livery Constructor, and then we're gonna go to Body Texture. We're gonna find that woody face, which will be down the bottom. Click that, we wanna bake that. It's gonna ask us to name it again. Woody face, click OK. So we bake that, and then we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to load livery. Sorry, load template. Woody face, click that. There you go. Easy as, so no more trying to erase your edges and get your lines nice and clean and straight. Again, the quality comes down to the picture that you put on it, but if you get a nice big crystal clear quality picture, they actually can look really, really cool. My car would have to be almost the most random car in the lobby at the moment. But uh, hopefully that makes sense, guys. Hopefully that's easy to follow. If you have any questions, comment below and uh, always happy to help. But uh, I think that's probably one of the better things that CarX has done and Kino's done in the recent updates. It's awesome. Thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate you.